Hey guys, so I hope you're all really well. I wanted to hop on today and make a video that I mentioned making a couple of weeks ago talking all about my favourite gym gear. I feel like this is not my normal kind of area of expertise. However, there's a few reasons why I wanted to make this. Firstly, because I feel like a lot of us are living in gym gear right now. Um, I don't know about you guys, even if I'm not working out, it's just easy. You don't have to iron it. No one's really seeing us, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I say this sitting here in a pretty dress, but I'm filming today. <laughs> Most of the time I'm in gym gear. Um, and so I feel like a lot of us are wearing a lot of gym gear and kind of, um, I feel like a lot of people as well are taking pretty good care of themselves during lockdown and like making an effort to um, work out whether or not it's joining an online class or, um, you know, looking at a tutorial on YouTube or whatever. I feel like a lot of people that I know are making more of an effort to kind of get it into a routine and whilst at home it helps to kind of break the day up a little bit. Anyway, and the other reason I wanted to do this was because I love following um, fitness and like well-being um, influencers and bloggers online. However, a lot of the time with fitness gear, I feel like I can't really relate in terms of how things fit and how things look because I'm not super tall, I'm not super, super toned and slim. Um, I am five foot four, size 10, um, and I don't necessarily find that a lot of the stuff that looks good on people online looks good on me. Um, so I just thought I would talk you through if you feel the same way, or even if you don't, because I feel like if you do have absolutely banging toned figure, then you can probably wear most most gym gear and it looks great um but this is what i found works for me and things that i feel more confident in and more comfortable the other thing i wanted to mention as well is i'm doing a little bit of a focus on tops too because i find that tops can be really really tricky to find there's a bit of a trend at the moment for wearing like just a, a bra and leggings and it looks amazing but i am no way near confident enough in my stomach area to do that and I never have been even before I had river I, I definitely have never really had a particularly toned stomach or one that I particularly wanted to show off so um yeah if you do though you go for it I don't want to be like body shaming anyone anti-body confidence all of that this is just what works for me and some of my favorite brands so I'm going to start off with Sweaty Betty because most of my gym gear is from Sweaty Betty. Um, two different reasons for that, partly because um, they do send me quite a lot of stuff. I have actually bought quite a lot of this stuff as well, but also because I think their quality is brilliant. They're a UK brand. I used to wear a lot of Lululemon workout stuff, but actually now I tend to, like I'd say like 80% of my workout gear is Sweaty Betty. And they've also given me a code for this video because I told them I was gonna be making this. If you want 20% off the entire website, um, I'll put a code down below and you guys um, can use that if you're thinking about buying some new gym gear. So first off, for leggings. There's three types of Sweaty Betty leggings that I wear. They do so many different designs, like so many, it's hard to keep up. Um, but there are three, these three are my actual favorites, including like the colorways as well. And not all of them are current colorways, um, but they're all current designs. They have so many different colors. And the first ones are, the super sculpt leggings and these ones are really good if you want to feel like sucked in and smoothed they're really thick stretchy soft material they're not the like the most technical so they're probably not the best for like running or really really heavy cardio I do um, go on the peloton and do spin class in these and they're not too hot which the ones that I'm talking about gonna talk about in a minute are too hot to do that in um, these are like the perfect balance between if you want something that's great for like yoga and Pilates and stuff but you also sometimes do a bit of cardio in them as well I love these because they're super flattering they suck your tummy and they have this super thick waistband and they also have a pocket so if you're wearing them around the house um, you can put your phone in them that's the one thing I get really annoyed about with gym gear if nothing has a pocket um, I'm always carrying a river around so usually I need somewhere to stash my phone and if I don't have a pocket I end up shoving it down my sports bra and that is just it's just not comfortable um, so yeah these are the super Scott ones and I really like this print actually and it goes with a lot of their colors that they're doing at the moment which are like more blues and kind of teals the other thing that is amazing about these they're made out of recycled plastic bottles so if you are concerned about that um, Sweaty Betty is also a really good option. And I must say as well, like, their stuff is expensive. Sweaty Betty is expensive. Similar kind of price to Lululemon, I would say. Maybe a little bit cheaper. Um, 
but the quality is brilliant and that's one thing that I've found with sportswear if I ever go to brands like Nike or Puma or Adidas I love the designs but they never last like years and years and years and years which I found with my sweaty betty stuff like some of these I think these leggings are probably two and a half three years old and I wear them all the time they still look brand new they just last really really well they don't go see-through so the next ones are um, the zero gravity ones and these are more of a technical material so they're thinner but they have um, they're supposed to be butt lifting I mean I don't inspect my butt close enough to notice if they actually work um, oh another thing to mention actually with sweaty Betty is that they do two lengths in their leggings so in most of the styles they have the full length and then they have the seven eighths which if you are a little bit on the shorter side like me seven eighths are brilliant as a full length I think the lady who started sweaty betty is quite tall um i didn't actually realize this until i realized one of my friends actually used to work for them and we were having a chat about it i was like i love this stuff but everything is so long like all the arms are long the legs are long she was like that's because the girl who set it up is like six foot something like that so if you are short they do the seven eighths length which is perfect if you're kind of like my height but i'm around five four anyway so all of my leggings are seven eighths, I believe. Um, so these are the um, zero gravity ones. I love this design. It has the burgundy and pink stripe down the side, which is super flattering again. It makes your legs look slimmer because it's that optical illusion. It has the SB LDN on the back, which I quite like, and on the leg as well, actually. Ta-da! Um, hang on, you didn't see that, did you? And then it also has a zip pocket at the back. So they, these ones are like a lot more technical and better for running if you are um a runner they're a lot thinner and a lot more kind of tighter <laughs> they're actually probably not tighter but they're like not soft they're like that kind of like technical material and then the ones that are kind of in between the two that i love and i think are really brilliant are these ones which are called the power i feel like these are a newer design um, and these are burgundy ones. They do them in loads of different colours, but I love these because they have like almost a different texture going on. So around the bottom, they are like a mesh. Then they go into like a super shine material and then they go into like a matte effect at the top. And if you like that shiny finish, I think this looks super premium. Like a lot of the really expensive designer gym gear brands um, do this high shine finish at the moment. Um, and I think Sweaty Betty have just released like all black super shines. So they look almost like leather, um, but they're like technical gym leggings. So these are the perfect in between um, that kind of comfy yoga feel, but at the same time being a little bit more... Um, technical in design and then they have the pocket as well on the side which I love and they also have the zip pocket too so these have both of the pockets whereas these ones just have one of each so these are really good these are the burgundy ones so they're my three favorite gym leggings from Sweaty Betty the other thing I love from Sweaty Betty is this bra and I posted about this I've I must have had this for two years plus but they still make it and I didn't realize and I was wearing it um, the other day, it's one of those ones with loads of straps. It's, it's not um, high support, so it's more like a yoga bra. You can wear it for like spinning, yoga, anything where you're not jumping around, Pilates, all that jazz. Not for running. Um, and I have never had so many questions about anything sports related as this bra. Turns out they still make it. Um, there are a few different colours. I've also got it in like a nice like sky blue. Um, but yeah, this one is really old, but I absolutely love this. I love stuff like this. It's like interesting bra and then you have like a lower cut top over the top and you can just see a little bit, a little bit of the extra straps. I absolutely love that. Oh my God, these straps, sleeves even on this dress are driving me bananas. Seriously, they fall down like 500 times a day. The other thing that I love for Sweaty Bessie is that they do really good um, tops. Like I was saying, I don't, ever feel confident or comfortable enough to wear just like a bra and leggings and I find it's often really hard to find nice gym tops that aren't just like slim fit t-shirts because like I don't want that I want something that like looks a bit cool is a little bit loose fitting it's flattering it's a bit fun and these I absolutely love these have actually only come out quite recently I ordered this probably about a month ago from the Sweaty Betty website um, and it came and then I ordered another colour in this and also the white t-shirt as well which I don't have but I'll show up, um, I'll try it on for the cutaways. Basically these are like handkerchief hem 
tops. So they're cropped, but they're not cropped so you can see your tummy. They're like cropped, just like hip above the hips, I guess. And then they have the split sides so you can tie them up if you want like a more kind of close fitting, like tight look, or you can leave them down to be flowy. They have the racer back. I just think they're really, really cute and versatile and I like them a lot. So I've got that in blue as well. And like I said, the white t-shirt. The other thing that I was going to say with Sweaty Betty, their sizing generally comes up big. Um, so I take a small in the leggings, a small in this, I ordered an extra small in the white t-shirt because that comes up really big. But in the bras, they come up quite small. So my bras are, I wear a medium in the bras. And if you go for one of the like more long line tighter bras, they're actually pretty small even in a medium but like i say everything else comes up quite big the other thing that i absolutely love this is a new release from them that they sent me the other day actually is this tie-dye t-shirt i'm having a bit of a love affair with tie-dye at the moment like everyone else i love this because it's got the like um super super low cut sides on the arms it's cropped but it's not too cropped it's lower at the back it's really lightweight i would ordinarily um, iron this because it's more of like a t-shirt material rather than that like sportswear material but it's very very thin so it's super soft and just really cute and cool nice to just throw over um, like a nice sports bra and you can kind of see the side peeking out love that a lot um, and then the other thing that I'm a big fan of from Sweaty Betty and something that I got asked loads about in the last video that I filmed because I was wearing it um, are the hoodies and these are their Lux, I feel like they're called their Lux sport hoodies or something like that. Either way, I'll link them below, I'll link all of the stuff below. But these are the softest thing you've ever felt in your entire life. They're like a micro fleece, but you can't, they don't look fleecy if you get what I mean. They're like super, super lovely. Um, I have a few of these actually, so I've got this one which is, this is probably about a year old now. And this is like the original one that they came out with. So they have the really thick um, drawstrings. And I love the detail. Like they have like rose gold eyelets. And everything is just really, really nice quality. These are quite long lines. So these come down quite low. I would wear this more often than not like in the winter or if it's cold. I like this detail at the bottom as well. Just really flattering. Again, these come up quite big for the size. But they also have like a slight funnel neck. Absolutely love that. Um, and this is the burgundy one, which I think is currently on sale on the US site, but not available on the UK site. Kind of confusing. See, told you about this sleeve. It's so annoying. Um, but they do have other colours in this. It's like a permanent collection design. Um, and then they have also just launched, again, this is a new addition to my wardrobe, is um, the cropped versions of them, which I really like. And I'm absolutely in love with this colour, which is like a gorgeous kind of sky blue. So pretty. It has drawstring around the bottom so you can kind of cinch it in a little bit. Um, and then it has the loops, the finger loops on the thumbs. Um, and the material is exactly the same. So it's like that micro, micro fleece. It's super warm and cosy. And to be honest, I never go for like technical hoodies and stuff like that because to be honest I always take them off when I'm working out so like I don't see the point in having you know like the weird like jacket like running jackets and stuff unless you're running outside I don't see the point in having that kind of material as a jacket you might as well have a super cozy jumper and it doesn't have to be from a workout brand but they do make really good ones these are expensive but the quality is really beautiful and like I said the finish like they just do like little nice touches, like all of the metallic bits. So they're all my favorite Sweaty Betty thing. Moving on to a couple of other random bits. I also have two sets of leggings that are probably my favorite leggings in terms of design, but in terms of being flattering and like fitting me well, they're not the best. So I'll, I'll let you guys, you'll see what I mean. But they do such cool designs. The first one is from a brand called Coral. And if you're looking for like, really unusual colours and finishes in leggings and workout gear. I would really recommend checking this brand out. These are my like iridescent leggings. They're kind of like purple, kind of blue. I just absolutely love them. I ended up getting these from, these and the next pair that I'm gonna show you actually, from a um, website called The Sports Edit and they have loads of cool brands. Um, they are like more on the pricey side, but um, they're really nice. 
really really nice i love them um but yeah so that's those that's coral with a k and then the other brand i was so excited when i discovered this because i've had my eye on some of the ultra core leggings um for such a long time but they're so expensive i don't know if you guys have seen them but they look like this with the rainbow stars and the rose gold stars so this brand which is called teres has basically ripped them off like and i don't normally like sporting brands that do that but the ultra core ones are like 180 pounds or something like that and these are like 75 i got mine for 60 i think in the sale although having said that now i've washed them probably five or six times the stars are fading a little bit especially on the ass where i've been sitting on the bike you can see like <laughs> been rubbing it off um but yeah i love these i think they're just so much fun so cool and they come in all different colors as well so like if you don't want anything super bright or garish like this you can get like navy with black stars um black with gold stars things like that so yeah super fun um and not the most flattering cut in the world but i love them um and then the other thing is some peloton branded gear which i'm not gonna lie it's super geeky <laughs> like i never thought i would be that, that person to be like I've got this exercise equipment and I'm gonna like wear a full on outfit of their merch, it's just not me. However, I absolutely love the print of these. Again, you guys will see a theme in terms of like the colours that I like and the kind of like graphic, um, more like girly styles. I saw these and I was just like, I love that print so much. So I ended up ordering them and the matching sports bra. Um, it's actually kind of, I don't really like that they have Peloton written on the leg. Um, and on the bust of the bra as well. It's like a bit too obvious, but I love the print and they're actually made by the way Peloton works with their um, Merch website is that they have loads of different um, Workout brands that make Peloton branded gear. So these are from they have like Lululemon and stuff like that These are from a, a brand called wear it to heart or with W-I-T-H um, And I have to say oh my god, I love the fit and the cut of these leggings the bra is actually really nice as well but they're super high-waisted like the most high-waisted of all the leggings that i own and the waistband is the thickest of all of the leggings i own so if you want to really like suck your tummy in and kind of like feel like in there <laughs> these are definitely like one of the way more flattering styles um that i found i really really like them a lot and the bra is equally really good quality and really nice i was really impressed with these actually um despite being a super geeky purchase um so the crisscross back is really pretty and they've got like remove the removable padding which i like because you just, sometimes you just you know you don't always want a bit of padding in there sometimes you do um so yeah that's the peloton stuff and then lastly i've got one thing from lululemon i used to wear loads of lululemon stuff but then over the years i a lot of the stuff I bought was quite tight fitting and I didn't really like it but there's one thing and this is discontinued so if anyone watches this from Lululemon please make this t-shirt again or if anyone else watches this please copy this t-shirt because it's so great this is a crisscross front t-shirt that looks like this and the cut of it and the fit is it fit of it is so nice it's cropped but it's not like cropped super super short um I just think it's so nice and so flattering. I love it. I wear it all the time. I bought it last summer in Selfridges and I'm not going to talk too much about it because like I said, it's discontinued. Um, and then lastly, for random brands, um, and these are very, very much like yoga, Pilates, no sweating, um, or not sweating too much because they are so thick. They are super, super warm. I guess all like outdoor running, but again, they're not the most technical fabric, so they're not like sweat wicking and stuff. I'd been looking for the perfect pair of leopard print workout leggings for ages, and I finally found them from Hush, which is a brand that I've bought loads of pajamas from in the past, but not much else. They do like quite nice clothes as well, um, but I think they've m like fairly recently moved into activewear. And these are the leggings. Um, and they are like literally the perfect leopard print. I absolutely love them. The one thing I would say is they come up really big. I ordered a small in the leggings and a medium in the bra, and I should have ordered an extra small and a small. Um, bearing in mind, this is what I always order, definitely size down. If you're vaguely in between sizes, especially in the sports bra, because like 
I'm a small in most things, but I always get a medium in sports bras because they're just so hard to get on if they're too small. Um, and this is just like, it's just a little bit too big. It's really annoying actually because I didn't quite realise until I wore them how much they were going to stretch out. Um, and I would definitely recommend taking a size down. And it's that way with all of Hush's stuff actually because I find their pyjamas, I take a small in their pyjamas, but they actually come up probably like a size 12, which I would associate normally a UK 12 being like a medium, um, whereas they're not. So I feel like it's kind of a normal thing with Hush, they, their sizes come up quite big. But yeah, if you're looking for leopard print leggings, super cute. For me, I wear these more for like doing um, stretching, um, chilling out around the house, yes, totally. Um, yoga, all that kind of Pilates, all that kind of stuff. And then last but not least, this is totally not gym gear, but it's loungewear, and I'm gonna fit it in here because I love it so much. This is actually from um, a small brand called Muse and Moda, and I absolutely love it. I spotted it on the Fashion Bug blog um, on her Instagram. And I've been looking for like a pale pastel tie dye jumper for ages. This is literally perfect. The only thing I would say is it comes in a set and I probably wouldn't have bought the leggings or the, um, the joggers. I will wear them, but like it's not something that I was looking for, but I bought them as a set because I wanted this. I probably wouldn't wear them together that much. Um, but the, the jump is just perfect. It's super lightweight, really, really thin, but really soft. And the color is just perfect. Um, I've had tons and tons of questions about this on my Instagram, because I put it on my Instagram about the sizing, because there's only two sizes. There's small, medium, and medium, large. I went for the small, medium, which on the website says it's six to 10. I'm like a bog standard size 10, and it fits perfectly, like loose fitting, comfortable. So um, I would say, the small to medium is probably like a size 10 so you can like have it oversized if you're smaller and then the medium large I would guess is more like a size 14. Um, it's really difficult when sizing is like that because I'm always worried if you're on the upper end as I was then like a size 10 for something that fits a 6 to 10 I'm always like is it going to be that like a little bit tight which you don't want loungewear to be a little bit tight do you, you want it to be like loose and comfortable but equally if I'd have ordered the medium large, it probably would have been too big and then it's almost like a bit, you feel like a bit, like, it's not flattering or not like form fitting at all. It's like, I don't know, it's difficult when there's only two sizes, but if you're thinking about ordering this, that's how the sizing works. I am literally about to go hoarse from talking so much now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and a little insight into my fave workout gear. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely week and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.